Hi everyone! Today I want to share a couple more cards with the Waves of Inspiration and Waves Dies, as well as the beautiful paper called Waves of the Ocean that is a limited time paper. And I'm making a card based off a flyer sample, this one, and then I made another card kind of based off of this one. I love to make the samples that Stampin' Up! puts in the catalogs and flyers because it kind of gets you a jumping off point. And then you can say, all right, I like what they did here and I'm gonna switch it up and then I did this one. And I didn't realize that I glued the card to the back of this one. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere on my desk. And I'm like, where is it? And then I flip this one over and there it was. So I'll cut these in half and remount them. Does anybody else make mistakes like that? Let me know I'm not alone. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to put together this card and this card, um, but in separate cards. <laughs> and I want to show you this um, fun die set and the papers. Okay, so the Waves of the Inspiration is going to be in the next annual catalog. It doesn't come out for a couple months, but we're starting to see some sneak peeks now, and you can get your hands on this one early. And I think it's really beautiful. I think it'll make um, great masculine cards, but as um, the artisan group that make samples for Stampin' Up! did some really great things on, on their Pinterest page this week and they made a scrapbook page and all kinds of fun stuff so really pretty things can be made with this set. I think this is my third video on this one so take a look at my videos and see if you can find some other ones that you like. Alright so for this one the star of the show is kind of this paper and this is a limited time only paper. I've used quite a bit of it. You can see I'm starting to get to scraps. And um, it's just beautiful. I think I'm gonna use, well I'm using this because I wanna have this kind of an orange sky background. So this is Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. And so I'm looking for paper like that. So I've gone ahead and cut myself two pieces from this one. And I cut them at five and a quarter by four. And then you're gonna need a dark blue for the waves. And so there's lots of choices there. Let's see if I can find my favorite dark blue. Here's a good one. I think I'll go with this one. So I'm going to cut the wave die out of this. And then I need a light blue to go behind. And for that, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so. And then I'm using Calypso Coral for a card base and a little bit of Petal Pink for the um, clouds and my sentiment. And um, we're going to do this one as well. So actually, let's start with this one. So I've got my Calypso Coral and I'm going to use this stamp. It's the sentiment and we're going to use it on the background. So let me grab my background. I need to clean this because I just used it on another card and it's got gray ink all over it. Let's see, I think I like this one for this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the stamp and we're going to use it as a background piece. So even though we're going to stamp it a million times, you're still going to be able to see that large word, the strength word coming through. And I like that. So we're just going to full strength <laughs> put that down and then just move it a little bit and do it over and over again. Try to keep them um, straight so you don't want anything crooked. And you're just kind of going over and over and over. And even if it starts to get where you really can't see what the words are anymore, that's okay because it's going to be echoed in a label down below. I'm going to kind of fade it off the end here. Okay, I've got that going on in my background. And it's just really an interesting look. I really liked the way they did that. All right, let me clean that. I'm just going to grab a scrap of Calypso Coral and my Versamark ink and white embossing powder. Now I always like to stamp first before cutting out my die for my labels just in case, you know, it's nice to be able to 
line it up. Let's see if we can fit it this way. Where is my die? Nope, gotta go that way. Okay. Okay, make sure I've got good coverage. I do. And then we'll heat this up. Okay, so this was what I'm talking about. Now you can kind of make sure you've got it centered exactly right. It's so nice to have that already stamped. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut that out. As you can see, I like to use a little bit of washi tape to set it in place and get a new piece. So we've got our sentiment. Now we're gonna do that wave. So there are two different waves. They're very similar, um, but the difference is just um, the ends really and just the different waves. You can layer them, which is really cool. Let me see if I can show you the difference. So here are the two different ones. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller and it's all closed on the side. This one has more open spaces. You can even take some of these pieces, see how like there's little pieces in here? that get cut out. This is blue foil paper, which is new. Um, you can use those little cutouts to add like more spray. See how I've got like this? It was right here, but I just put it on the outside just to get more kind of spray, a little water droplets. You can do stuff like that too. So that's really fun. So you can choose either one. None is, they're both great and I don't really know. Uh, I just grabbed one without even thinking. So whatever one you grab is good. So here's my dark blue, and I just need a little bit of that. And I'm going to cut a piece because I want to fit it in that little mini cutter. So I'm going to give myself just a little scrap here. Oh, and I want to tell you about some sticky adhesive sheets before I do this. Okay, now I love these sheets and I forget about them every time. And I want to show them to you so you don't forget about them. They are sticky adhesive sheets and they have like adhesive on them so then it kind of turns your die cut into a sticker. And um, I forget about them constantly. But we used to sell this brand from Sizzix with Stampin' Up! However, we don't anymore. I'm trying to use up my old one, so that's why I'm still using this one. The new ones don't say Sizzix anymore. I don't know what brand they are, they're just blank. But they're great, I just wanna use up my old ones before I open up a new pack. And I truly forget about them constantly. So there, you just peel it off, and I always forget which side has the adhesive, this one. And you're just gonna stick that down. And I made it too big, so let me cut that off. Okay, now we're gonna run it through our die cut machine. Woo. 
Now I saved these little cutouts because I think it'll be really fun to use them inside, like kind of do a paper piecing. So like make another wave out of a light blue or white and then add these little pieces. So it'll be like the white could be the foam edges of the waves and then you can add these dark blue inside. So that's gonna be a different card. So I'm saving my little inner pieces here and they already have adhesive on them so they're great. Okay. So now for this, you just need to find a little spot that you like and cut it out. I think I'll try to nest it in here. So how I like to do it is grab a pencil and trace it from the back. It doesn't have to be exact. Don't drive yourself crazy because um, it's just water, right? So it's layers of water. So your other layer can be bigger, smaller. It can be exact. It can be whatever you want it to be. So here we go, we have our wave. Now you're gonna go ahead and attach it here and then you can make any cutting adjustments afterwards. Looks like I forgot a few little pieces. There we go, I think I got them all. Okay, now here's that sticker part that I was telling you about. So you're gonna peel that backing off Sometimes that's hard. An easier way would be grab your, take your pick tool and kind of see if you can get in between the layers. Okay, so now you can adjust. So I don't like that. I wasn't worried about the end because that's going to get cut off. And I think I don't mind any of that. Maybe a little bit stronger. Let's cut that back a little bit. Oops. Or a lot bit. Now this card is all about just putting it together. So we're going to glue this down and this gets trimmed off. Okay, now the only thing I think I'm going to add to what they did on the flyer is I'm going to add a couple little birds when oh, I need this. Okay, another thing they did in the flyer, which I thought was interesting, this is what, another reason why I like to copy the flyers or the catalog samples first, is I like that they do things I wouldn't have thought of. For example, this is a great die to thread ribbon through, but they also snipped it so that it, you got rid of some of that. And I thought that was interesting, so I'm going to do that just so you can see that if you didn't see the flyer. The flyer is at my blog, Best Paper Cut, so you can take a look at the flyer and see all the different elements of this collection. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a couple birds to that. Do I want to add one up in the words? Why not? Okay. And then just a little bit of white ribbon for some soft texture. Okay. 
Okay, now I like to put ribbon down with tear tape. Okay, now let's see if we need to cut from there. Actually, I think that's a good amount on both sides. So I'm going to leave that. And then I'll pop the whole thing up on dimensionals and attach it to our card. Now the second card will be a little faster because I did the wave already. I already cut out the wave and the clouds. So we're good to go. And I just wanted to show you another option. So let me finish up this one. Now this paper is so pretty. It does not have to be waves. I mean, it's called Waves of the Ocean, but it's just a beautiful background paper. So think about it for lots of things. It also kind of looks like marbly Easter eggs. You can cut out some oval shapes and do like some of them with the yellows and blues. They could be some fun Easter eggs. You can use it for Easter scrapbooking. Okay, so there is card number one. And this one is the catalog kind of flyer copy. Okay, and now we're going to do card number two, which is very similar. We've got our card base, and I've already done the wave. This one has more green in it. It's kind of pretty. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chop the bottom part off, and I really want to show you these um, clouds. So I'm going to chop an inch off the bottom. So this was a regular matte piece at four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. that over. Okay, now I wanted to bring in some of these clouds, and I did the same thing. I cut them out, and the die set comes with two sizes. You get a long cloud and a smaller cloud, and then it gives you these extra little detail pieces. Let's see if I can get those with just my fingernail. Yep. And I made those stickers also. It's just so easy to layer. Of course, you can use your liquid glue, too, and a sponge maybe or different ways, but I always forget about those sticker sheets, so I was really trying to remember them today because I wanted you to see them. I think I already made an, oh, here's my other small blue. Okay. Okay, so I've got those. And then I want to do a sentiment. This time I'm going to do it on Petal Pink. I'm going to use that same sentiment because I actually have a, a use in, for these in mind, the strength card. Okay, so I think that is the perfect sentiment for my use. I'm going to go with that. But this time I'm not going to cut the sentiment apart. I'm going to use that little opening for ribbon. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned, these are on sale right now. These little mini ones, they're so fun because they're small. They don't take up a lot of space on your desk. Space is always a premium on my desk. And so this little guy is great. And I don't have to get up and go across the room where my big one is. I do have the big one. But I used to stop the video and go across the room and, and cut it out and then come back. And here I just drag this in front of the camera and cut away. So I do love this one. I got a second one because I have classes and that way I can have a few of these little guys around the room for so people are not standing in line at the machine. So I do really like it. I endorse it highly. Okay, so here is our, our little sentiment. And on the first card I made, let me find it. Oh, that's right, it's on the back of the other one. On the first one, I used ribbon all the way across and then tied it around and I decided it's not worth it to go behind there. You can't even see it. So I am going to do it differently this time. I'm just going to tie knots on both sides. That's it. Very simple. We'll see if I like that better. Sometimes, you know, you do too much. And some things you don't even notice. Although a lot of times the little details do make it, I have to say. I just didn't think this was one of them. and get the little ribbons the way we want them. Let's turn them. There we go. Make it a little shorter. I love this denim ribbon. So glad to see that come back. Cute. I'm trying to get them approximately the same size as the ones over there. I think I did it. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's put that down. And then for this one, I think these clouds are really going to make the whole card pop. I'm going to add a couple of those seagulls too. Let's see, do I want it in the middle or off to the side? I think maybe off to the side. Okay, and then these clouds, I'm going to stick those up on dimensionals too. I want that height from here to kind of match up there. But before I do, I want to get some seagulls in. I'm going to kind of keep them close to the wave so I have room for clouds up above. There we go. Okay, and I have to cut my dimensionals. I have many dimensionals somewhere on this desk. That's what I was saying about space being at a premium. I need a bigger work area <laughs> because things get buried. I clean the desk. I'm not using that many products, and yet I can't find my mini dimensionals anywhere. I also have a kitten who sometimes gets on my desk if I'm not paying attention, and I think she likes to bat things around. Okay, so I've got, I'm gonna put the big one down first. And then, I think there, and some smaller ones. I want to kind of cluster these together, overlap them just a little bit. And then this one's going to be by itself over here, a little higher. Then I've got some dark blue here, some dark blue there, height. And I think that works really nicely. So there you go. There are my two cards. Let me find the other one using these really fun wave dies. I hope you'll take a look at these and consider grabbing them. And the thing you want to grab first, limited time only, is that paper. Waves of the Ocean paper. And you know what? I might add some rhinestones to this one too. There's some really pretty um, rhinestones with that collection. So you can think about adding those. I can't decide. Hmm. Um, also take a look at some of my other videos on this collection. I've got a few more. I love this one. I'm going to do that one. I'll do that on a different video. I like the blending. 
and so much you can do with it. It's so pretty, and I just really love that paper, so I've gotten, I got myself an extra pack of that because I want it to be around, and then the blue foil paper, too. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and come back again. Bye.